Hi there, Gaming Beaver here. Here, let me shake your hand. Here, here, there you go. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Unboxing Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Toys because I'm a giant man giant. And today we're going to be unboxing one of the most anticipated dinosaur toys of the actual line itself. And I'm not talking about the T-Rex, no. There was a different dinosaur that won over everybody's hearts when they saw it in the trailer and especially the toy with its unique action feature. But we'll get into that when we actually get the toy. And to present it to us, you know the drill, you know who she is. The one, the only, beautiful assistant. Wait, where did I actually put the toy though? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Have you have you done something with your hair? There's there's something different. I, 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 is it your hair? Is it your hair? Wait, wait, no. Where'd she go? Anyway, that's not what you're here for today. You're here for Q Magic Dust Music. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to just get out the excitement, especially when you're unboxing beautiful toys like this. Here he or she is. Actually, all the dinosaurs, I think, have been confirmed even in Jurassic World, except for one, Indoraptor, are all female. I think the Indoraptor is actually male. And it looks so, so good. One could even compare it to, and <laughs> you would be floored for doing so, the Roarivores. These guys basically have the same sort of feature. They're around about the same height. In fact, actually, Carno is a lot bigger because Carnotaurus isn't part of the Roarosaur line. It's part of, like, a more expensive line. And uh, there is, I am trying to find it. <laughs> the, where are you? This is the other one that we will be unboxing and wait, stay tuned for that video. Not in this one, no. This is the other, this is, hold on. Alasaur, get out of the way, man. I know you used to eat stegos, but how are This is the stegosaurus, which we will be unboxing on, a, on another video. Um, and it looks like for some reason, these have, I mean, they cost a little bit more. What was the price? About 25 quid they retail, 25 pound, which I think it's $25 in America. So if you live in America, you're getting a better deal because $25 in UK is about 19 pound, maybe 18 quid. So you save about five pound, <laughs> way more expensive over here. And some of the toys, in fact, are actually um, more expensive than the others in their own range. So it's really weird how they've done it. I think most toy companies now, because Toys R Us is gone, have decided, ah, we can bulk up their prices. Nobody's gonna care. We'll, we'll tell them, won't we guys? We're not gonna stand for it. But we'll buy it anyway. So the unique feature with this Carnotaurus and what makes it uh, like such a unique toy. Hold on, there you go. So that's the front of the box, Carnotaurus. And then you've got the little action feature that you can press in the box and see how it works. Look at that. Ah, oh, that is, that's really, like, I don't think we've had a Jurassic toy that's had a feature like that, that's sort of bent the head and also bit. I think we've had some, like, jaws that open through button, but not, uh, like, a unique, I mean, you've got, you've got one, two, you've got two, maybe even three unique uh, animations going on there, unique movements. You've got the neck, you've got the head itself, which actually bends down, and then the jaw, uh, opens as well, so you can take a little nip out of you. Also, a con a Conotaurus would, no Conotaurus would be complete without signature tiny Aww. little arms. <laughs> and back of the box, there it is. So you get uh, the little demonstration, nice little diorama of uh, toast there. Speaking of toast, do you not know of toast? Toast is a really good plushie, well worth the price. Link in the description below, you can buy your own toast plushie. Much better than this garbage. Oh, that's rubbish. This is the one you want. <laughs> Cuddly and wobbly, it likes toast. You can sit there for the rest of the video. There you go, eat Allosaurus. Yeah, there you go, Team Carno, or Team Toast. Has a better ring to it, doesn't it? Anyway, so yeah, back of the box gives a lovely demonstration. Oh, that sound of the uh, Carnotaurus's action. There you go, action attacke. As well as all the different languages there. I'm not going to say any of them because I'll probably butcher them. But then you've got the Triceratops down here, the Baryonyx, and also the Stegosaurus, which is kind of interesting because it's putting it in the same line as the Roarivores, except for this is way bigger and also costs more. So it's interesting that they decided to include that. I mean, otherwise it would just be the Stego at the moment. But what makes me excited about this toy, uh, not only does it look amazing, has loads of uh, parts of articulation. I mean, you got the feet, you got the arm, you got the, this whole action feature, you got the tail, and it looks in proportion. It looks like a really good dinosaur toy. 
uh, it's not just like, I mean, for Kano, there's a few things missing. Contours was way more like slightly built. It was a lot slimmer, but we don't, I don't really care like, too much about that. This is a really good toy and I'm not too anal when it comes to stuff like that. Here's a bad word. Uh, uh, uh. But what makes me excited about this toy in particular is the other range we're gonna get. Because with Jurassic Park, even with uh, Jurassic World toys, there's always been a wave too. So what else are we gonna get with unique action features like that? And without further ado, let's get a better view of it out of the box. So I've got to find me trusted knife. Scissors will do, I'll use them. We're getting more PG on this channel. We don't use knives anymore. I should just have a katana. <laughs> Let's open it! Break the bonds of oppression! Hold on, people are gonna think I'm sponsored by frickin' um, PlayStation. Let's have a look. Ooh, its tail is very articulated. Seeing, hmm, interesting. Because that tail has a bend to it, it kind of lends itself quite well to left and right motions. In fact, more, more so, like if you have a look, hold on. You can, you can, oh God, how bright is this one? Oh, Jesus. But uh, yeah, it lends itself more, like if you get a view there, like look how, mar how much it can uh, shift to the left. But if you go to the right, <laughs> it doesn't go at all. So apparently they were they're well aware of the balancing issues for one direction, not really the other. Maybe if you did that, it would sort of fall the other way. You've got, uh, let's bend it so you can, oh, you've got nice uh, articulation there. So no like, like clicking into place, you can get some uh, very unique movements there. And as you can see, no matter which way I seem to put it, it, um, it sort of, it sort of balances quite well. And if you do have issues, you can also like twist the feet if that's a, if that's a problem. The uh, little arms though, the arms don't really have much articulation. It's kind of like up and down and that's it. I thought they would be on a ball joint because they look like they would be. The most unique thing about this Carnotaurus is like this action feature right here. This one, that, that toast, toast. <laughs> that is really, really cool. However, However, it is not the only toy to have this feature. No, 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 no. When I was a young whippersnapper, I uh, went to the Natural History Museum in London and picked up this toy. This is some sort of Allosaurus. And weirdly enough, has exactly the same feature as Toast. Except for instead of a cool little button on the back, it was just this little keyhole on the underneath, which you would uh, end up clicking, and that would make the head go. So when I saw that this uh, this uh, figure, I was like, "Oh, that's really cool!" But I've seen that before, and I managed to like go in my parents' attic and dig this guy up. <laughs> so I mean, it, it, what's really cool about this is actually if you have two sort of like battling each other, that looks awesome. Like I'm sort of snapping. Ah! See, that's what kids are gonna do. The only shame is. I mean, you need kind of a big hand to grab it. And with that tail, um, as soon as you grab it, you move the tail. Like, if the tail's like that, you can't really, hold on, maybe that's better. You can't really grab it without moving that tail. Uh, so especially if you're moving it, the tail's gonna be a bit awkward. Uh, as far as leg articulation goes, look at that. Oh, also, hold on. There you go. Scan that and get Carnotaurus in your game today. So really, all I need to do is repaint this thing this color. <laughs> <laughs> we got those. Uh, you can see like the silhouette of this thing looks so good. Like you just look like, let's get some really uh, close up looks at this uh, Carnotaurus because it looks phenomenal. So that look at that mouth, the way that tongue is sort of just, it's, it's a different um, piece of plastic altogether. And it looks really, really good. Uh, you've got the scaling along the back, all the spiky bits that you'd expect from a Carnotaurus, uh, all the way to the tail, a little articulation there. And, Toenails painted! The sign of a great product there. <laughs> Teeth look great. There's not really too uh, too much splash there on the paint job there. You can just sort of, I mean, if I look myself, oh, I keep your mouth open. No, it's really cool, but if you look inside the mouth, look at all the different, uh, different bits of plastic in there. And the tongue just looks so shiny smooth. It looks great as well as the gum. Oh God, this is a leaps and bounds above anything that Hasbro could ever have given us. I'm just like so grateful in a way um, that 
we have a voice. And it's because of people like me, uh, like Matthew Brando and other toy collectors that sort of stood together and said, no, no, these products are crap. We need, we need much better. And I, I always thought that sort of drew, drove like um, a wedge between me and any sort of collaboration I'd ever have with Universal uh, because I mean, I was, I was at Smith's the other day looking at um, some toys and there was a guy who recognized me and we ended up, we got chatting um, like for an hour outside of Smith's. And I, I mentioned that to him. I was like, I felt like a bit bad uh, commenting on the Raptors and, and just the bad toys. And he said, well, they shouldn't have made bad, they shouldn't have made crap. <laughs> and I was just like, you got a point. And I, I do have to say that if it wasn't for people like uh, Matthew Brando, uh, if you if you don't know who he is, he he uh, reviewed all of sort of all of the ones that he could anyway of the Jurassic World toys. Uh, he even reviews old Kenner toys as well, um, and he just sort of was like, "This is bad. This is really bad." And after recording a few of these videos uh, of the Jurassic World in 2015, I watched his and I was like, "You know what? No, he's got a point." I'm sort of, I, I'm, I've got nostalgia glasses on. I'm like, oh yeah, dinosaur toys, these are awesome. And then looking at them again and going, no, these are crap. And it's because of people like him and myself um, that, and you guys as well for speaking out. Because it's not, it's not just him. It's not just me. It's, it's, it's all of us. We all sort of banded together and said, no, these are crap. We, we want, you know, Kenner. We want old Kenner style toys back. We want quality. We want thought and effort that's been put into stuff like this um, that looks so good. Th this Carnotaurus right here, the only thing I can say bad about it is the eye because the eye is just a little, it's just like black and then the pupils left so it's just skin color. But it is, like if, if this is all we got in comparison to the Hasbro line, I think that like I'd be happy, <laughs> well I wouldn't be happy. As far as quality goes, this set, this set the benchmark. When this was leaked online uh, ages ago, Everybody lost their minds because it was what everybody wanted. They want a cool action feature. They want nice sculpting, good paint job. Like the paint jobs on it's great. You got like airbrushing on the underneath of the belly. The toenails are painted. The tongue looks realistic and just shiny and glossy. It looks so good. And it's because we freaking said, no, we're not having it, <laughs> that we ended up getting amazing products. I mean, the only thing that isn't really amazing are these tiny little like three quid toys, but they're only three quid. And the quality on them is really good. Like, oh, it's awesome. And here we are with toys like this. It's, it's a victory, not only for me, not only for Matt and any other uh, collector of dinosaur toys, but for the kids. For the kids that are gonna have, they're gonna look back, just like I and other collectors look back on the Kenner line and think, those were good toys. I had so much time with those, like so many good memories. And that's exactly what this is gonna give to some kids. It's it, like that, you can't put a price on that. And that's exactly what we were fighting for. But anyway, back to reviewing it. So let's get some scale, shall we, with this uh, Carnotaurus. So here is Alan. Alan. Any beautiful. So this is a figure that's a little bit bigger than uh, what you would get for the Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom line. It's about in scale, I would say. It looks the part. It looks around about the right size. Can get all in hat. Ah! Uh, we can compare it to a classic raptor from the Lost World, and I would say, yeah, that 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 scales up about right as well. I would say very good indeed. Now they don't look too out of place, do they? They look like they belong in the same set. They look really good. And now, of course, comparison to Toast, you know, because you will obviously have your own Toast plushie because why wouldn't you? <laughs> and yeah, look, these go work together. Except the only thing is missing from this, and I, I hope they include it in a wave too, is just, just like a little bit of plastic toast around the outside. In fact, Hold on, if you don't mind. No, Josh, no. It's a little bit too big, but you know what? These little hands, maybe they can hold it in place. Looks gorgeous. You know what, I might as well just get some real toast. <laughs> it might fit better, to be honest. Or can you hold the toast? Hold on. Yeah, there you go. No, I know, don't worry, I won't deprive you. You can have it back. Turns into some sort of alien xenomorph there. <laughs> and here is Allosaurus in comparison 
to Carnotaurus. They are around about the same, although like as far as like quality goes and overall finish, they look like they're in the same set. Uh, some people said that they didn't think the Allosaur's tail was that, you know, short. But you look at that, in comparison, if I put the bases together, like their bodies are almost the same. But the tail on the Carno, if it was straightened out, is like way longer than the Allosaur's. And Allosaur should have a quite, like a pretty long tail. The only thing that's missing, oh that, Okay. The only thing that's missing from Toast is like a little, uh, some sort of sound effect. But honestly, if that's like the biggest gripe is just a sound effect, that's really nothing. And you could, you could, you're a kid, if you're, if you're a mind child like me, you can do it yourself. <laughs> And the only other Carnotaurus that we've ever- oh god, is the- I think it's like the Red Bull or the Red Devil or something that's called like that. And that is quite rare. That was in like wave two of Kenner, so I don't have that. And really there's nothing- and they, they look kind of similar, but it, I know what that one looks like. And if I put up a picture, I prefer this one just because of its action feature, its overall quality. And honestly, guys, I don't know what else I can say about it. It speaks for itself. It's amazing quality and there's a really good action feature. This right here is what we were hoping to get when uh, we first thought about dinosaur toys when Hasbro took the license or Hasbro had the license when Jurassic World first came out. It took us three years to get rid of them and get somebody else in who could do it a lot better but here we are. The amount of toys that are going to come out that we haven't even seen like there's a Spinosaurus that looks like it's going to be amazing which opens the door to a plethora of other dinosaurs like oh we're going to get the bull T-Rex like we're going to it seems like we're going to redo all of the dinosaurs in the Jurassic franchise and possibly even Indominus Rex that would be a really good one to get because the only good one we've got is that level 40 one. <laughs> There's the choo-choo! I told you, there's a choo-choo! <laughs> this is really the only good Indominus Rex that we got. And it's all solid plastic. And this guy sells for like a bomb online, even just out of the box, with the box, it's crazy. So it's not like it's really easy to get a hold of, and you can't. Like you can't get a hold of this anymore because they're not stocked. And they're incredibly rare because they're like everybody, like I said in the video, would have bought it and just sold it on eBay for like ridiculous prices. So if you were lucky enough to grab this guy when you when it came out, this is probably the only truest Indominus Rex 2, like the best one. It's not true because it's, it's the one from the game, <laughs> to be honest. There you go. Let's stay still at balances. But uh, yeah, like that, they sort of fit in together, these guys. And when Hasbro failed with the uh, plushie line, you've got Toast, a really, this is really quality, quality product right there. <laughs> and anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. I, of course, again, like I said, will be uh, unboxing the Stegosaurus next or whatever really takes my fancy. This Carnotaurus, if you're thinking about picking up one, I have to say, get out of here. No, not either you. Like I said, it's just amazing quality and it gets Beaver's pick of the toy line. So enjoy the video. Leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.